Originally, where, where are you Originally, from? I'm from the Bay Area. Okay. I grew up in Daly City, under the BART line, for all my Bay Area folks out there. And then um, went to UC Berkeley. Um, so kind of, you know, moved around a lot in the Bay Area. And then lived um, in L.A. here. Moved out to L.A. when I was, um, you know, a little younger. And then got accepted to Cal and moved back to the Bay Area. So what was it like? Living in the Bay, what what are what are some of the, the differences from the Bay Area to now, Southern Cal or Los Angeles? You know, you know, not to put down my Angelinos. I love my my LA folk. I do, <laughs> um, but <laughs> uh, no, you know, the thing is, people think you're from Cali. They think California is California. Northern California and Southern California couldn't be more opposite. They're two opposing um, cities. You know, San Francisco, the Bay Area, is sort of like this low-key New York, you know, with architecture and people always reading and protesting and, you know, there's just a lot of techies there. It's just a different vibe. Um, it's like subculture, people walk. And I think LA is more of a car culture, you know, um, the tribe you hang out with. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I think LA has some beautiful pieces to it too. Once you really get in there in the underbelly of LA, you can you can really find your, your niche. So. You know, back in the beginning days of, you know, I should say girlfriends, yes. you know, the, the social influence has, and even the film community and the, the just the time of it, the dynamics of it, you know, completely has totally changed. Mm -hmm. So do you feel like that now in this social media age, when it comes to actors and entertainers and, you know, things that think the people that do the things that we do, do you feel like that the social media, you know, exchange has been more of a help or a, a hurt to entertainers as a whole right that's a really good question because back when we started you know back when there was UPN and mm -hmm. um, there were networks that really just um, promoted african-american life you know I still to this day like bow down to UPN because if it wasn't for networks like that and even when BET first started out those were the shows that were actually exploring and celebrating celebrating black life black culture um, and I think people responded to that and it was really just word of mouth now you you know we do have um, you know social media you have Facebook Instagram Twitter there's so many avenues so many mediums now to get your your voice your who you are um, and you can create and curate your own persona and it does help promote the sh you know whatever show whatever your thing is it's definitely an engine to help that I mean it could help but what, it what advice would you give to the young actor or the young actress that's you know kind of caught up in the new social media way of doing things mm -hmm. because honestly in a lot of ways that to, to me it's just kind of I'm very passionate mm -hmm. about that mm -hmm. subject. Yeah, I'm sure subject. as we're here the, you know, to me, it's, it's it's kind of like a shortcut, and I've seen a lot of real talent be mm -hmm. overlooked yes. because of what seemed gifted mm -hmm. for 15 seconds yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. So, you know, what is something that you feel that the young entertainer, aspiring entertainer, could do to increase the chances of success authentically? Yeah. You know, I've worked with a lot of younger actors who... Um, you know, who are coming up, who don't even have social media. I think it depends on the type of person you are. How are you wired? You know what I mean? How do you want your art or whatever it is, how do you want your voice to be positioned? Um, I say, I'm old school, I say go to college. If not college, go to some type of, of um, schooling or workshop course where you can get those get the training get the fundamentals of acting do theater um, do these things if you need to use social media to promote what you're working on do that but don't let that um, be your engine and don't think that that overrides the work the Meisner the Stanislavski um, the off, off off Broadway that you should do you know because no social media is going to give you the fundamentals it's not going to give you the course it's not going to give you the foundation it's not going to give you those learning tidbits that you're going to need to correspond with people on set I think social media can take you so far but when you truly have that training that's behind you I mean I I me growing up, I looked at like the Angela Bassett's, Denzel Washington's of the world, you know, um, Jodie Foster, Meryl Streep, they did it the right way. And you see the people with talent, they transcend any era, any fad, any talent trumps any sort of fad or short term law or short lived anything. I think that um, 
when you do it the way of really giving yourself those jewels, it, you can be on social media. You don't have to. I get asked that question a lot. People, hey, you know, I'm going to classes. I've got great headshots, yeah. but I'm not booking. You know, I got a great demo reel. Yeah. I'm not booking. I'm not getting callbacks. Mm -hmm. And I have to explain to people, you know, because the first thing they want to know is, what am I doing wrong? Mm -hmm. But you might not necessarily be doing anything right. wrong. Right, right. You just... It's a numbers game. That's it's it. It's a numbers game. That's if it. you're going to get into this and think, oh my God, why isn't this happening? Why? Even me at this point. Like, I had three auditions last week. I have, you know, I still audition. There's some things that I don't have to audition for, but the things I really want, sometimes I do have to jump through hoops. And you know what? I may not hear back. And I may. But it's, it's a numbers game. And if you're going to sit and... Listen, it's frustrating. It's one of the most frustrating oh, yeah. jobs you could ever go into. I mean, the amount of time and energy and money that we put into this career, you would be CEO of a company. But the fact is, is that you have to be, you have to be vigilant, you have to be persistent, and you have to have some type of spiritual base, or you'll lose it. You know, Absolutely. you have to keep. You're gonna. It's a numbers game. You're gonna get a lot of no's, and. Someone eventually has to well, say Well, it's interesting that you say that, you know, the amount of money, because there are a lot of people now, millennials, mm -hmm. <laughs> who feel, you know, I just, I'm just, I'm so touchy on that. Yeah. Um, they feel that I'm, I'm great. I'm funny. I'm gifted. Yeah. I can really act. I can memorize lines. I can impersonate anybody. You know, why do I have to invest? Why do I have to pay money? You know, investing and training, investing into yeah. training is a big part of it. Yes. And I tell people, you should be acting whether or not you're getting paid to act or not. You yeah. know, taking classes, yes. staying updated, mm -hmm. traveling, networking. Right. You know, if you don't have those means, find a way to create those means. That's right. And I'm also a big fan of creating your own content. That's it. That I was such a great point. To use, people talk about, like, it's so hard. I go on all these auditions. I keep hearing, no, no, no. Okay, well, you know what? Follow the road of Issa Rae. You know, go out there, get your tripod, get your... You get your iPhone, you can pretty much shoot anything. You can create a YouTube channel and put your content out there. You know, you can put anything you want out there. Utilize, make yourself like what you're good at, what are you good at? Are you funny? Are you dramatic? Whatever it is, write it, you know, curate it, make it, and shoot it. And at some point, if it's, if someone's gonna see it. I believe if your heart, mind, body, and spirit are all in one, someone is going to connect.